welcome everyone to Fearless Friday, where I offer a quick tip, exercise, or just a thought on how you can live more for yourself. My name is Dr. Benjamin Ritter, leadership and career coach at Live For Yourself Consulting, where we coach and guide individuals to create a career they can love. Remember, today is your day, and how can you make it fearless? If you had a lot on your to-do list, but you start cutting things off because you don't feel like you have enough time, and thus you're not making any progress on your goals, watch this quick video. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Benjamin Ritter. I'm a leadership and career coach and founder of Live For Yourself Consulting, as well as the author of the upcoming book, Becoming Fearless. If you feel stuck in your career and your life, and you're ready to get uncomfortable and make a change, send us a message, look us up. We have a solution. Life is busy. There's a lot of things that we want to do. Friends, family, self, health, our jobs, maybe a side hustle, a business, me recently writing a book, podcasts, whatever it is, our docket is full. And there's a benefit to having boundaries, to saying no to things so that you can focus on the main areas that you want to improve in. But sometimes the things that you're trying to learn, maybe it's how to start a business or a podcast, how to write a book, maybe just studying a new language, whatever it is, when we feel really busy in our life, sometimes those things lose and drop in priority, which is okay sometimes. Like it's good to change your expectations of what you can achieve when life is tough, when maybe you're moving or there's a breakup or someone passes away or personally you just don't feel that great. But there's a danger there that once you take a day off, or take a week off, you're not far from taking a month off, taking a quarter off, taking a year off. I've seen this happen way too many times to actually count. Taking time off of something, even if it's intentional, it becomes very easy to forget how long you actually have not been doing the thing that was important to you previously, or you have maybe slated as one of the top things on your to-do list. So the one simple thing that you need to do if you choose to take some time off because life is getting in the way is mark down in very, very big lettering or like a sign, maybe even a marker board or a post-it note. Maybe it's a calendar invite, whatever it is. It's something that highlights that you've taken the time off of the thing that you want. So let's say you're working out. You work out four or five times a week, whatever it is. But you're taking a week off because you want to sleep, work is really busy, you're not in the right headspace. I still suggest probably to work out. But if you're not going to, then like, for example, I have some post-it notes next to my computer or a big marker board on my wall. I'm going to put, did not work out, one. If I don't work out again, two. And I'm going to make it very apparent to myself how much time I've taken off. Adding an extra step, you can even write write down your goal, or I would maybe print out a picture of what I might want to look like and what, what I want for my health and put it next to that number. You need to create some sort of dissonance and dislike to the fact that you're taking time off, even if it's beneficial, because that's going to help you stay aware of how much time you've actually taken off and prevent you from building momentum in the opposite direction of what you're actually trying to achieve. And just one more thing, if something's really important to you and you don't have time to do everything, like maybe go to the gym for an hour or write a book for an hour or study a language for an hour or take class, do it for five minutes. Do 10 push-ups. Write something in ChatGPT and ask it to give you an idea. Do a little bit, just a little tiny bit, because that's going to help you remember again what you care about, what you're working towards, and actually might even build some momentum towards what you're trying to achieve. So thanks for listening, everyone. I hope you've taken two things away because there are two tips. And if it resonates with you or you want to have a conversation, find me on LinkedIn, Dr. Benjamin Ritter. Go to liveforyourselfconsulting.com for our website to find out all about coaching services. And most importantly, become fearless and keep on living for yourself. So get out there, everyone, and live fearlessly. 
have any thoughts and comments, be sure to use the links in the show notes to send a message my way. Thank you all for being here. Keep on living for yourself.